gonna show us some respect. You gonna stand for this country, nigga. Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. You're here at Stay Slick With Kit and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing a reaction video to this I'm Not Racist video. Now, I know I'm a bit late because I think this video came out about a year ago, uh, but it's gone viral since then. You know, a lot of people have watched it. It's had some really amazing feedback. It's had some bad feedback as well. Um, but one of my boys sent it to me and I thought I might as well do a reaction video on it. So if you haven't watched it, we're gonna be watching it for the first time together right now. But if you wanna watch it without my annoying voice, in the commentary um, I'll make sure to put a link in the description below to the original video so without further ado let's get it all right let's get this started with all due respect I don't have pity for you black niggas that's the way I feel Screaming black lives matter or the black guys rather be dead beats than pay your bills. Yelling nigga this and nigga that. Call everybody nigga and get a nigga mad. As soon as I say nigga, then everyone react. Just keep saying it. Wanna swing at me and call me racist cause I ain't black. We'll pound that then. Talking about slavery like you was around back then. Like you was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then. Like you was on the plantation getting down back then. Alright. Look. I see a black man aiming his gun. But I'd rather see a black man claiming his son. Wow. And I mean, you still trapped in a rut. And I work my ass off and pay my taxes for what? So you can keep living on free government assistance, food stands for your children, but you still trying to sell them for some weed and some liquor or a fucking babysitter while you party on the road because you ain't got no fucking goals. That beat there. Ooh. You already late. You motherfuckers need to get your damn priorities straight. Wait. It's like you're proud to be fake, but you lazy as fuck. And you rather sell drugs and get a job and be straight And then you turn around and complain about the poverty rate Fuck out of my face you Can't escape problems You can pray for some change but can't break a dollar Got nobody else to blame so you blame Donald They fuck the world with a make America great condo <laughs> I'm not racist, my sister's boyfriend's black I'm not racist, my sister-in-law's baby cousin Tracy Got a brother and his girlfriend's black A head's in the cloud or there's not enough jobs for all the men in your house. Maybe we should build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Or maybe we should send them all to the ghetto for now. I'm not racist. And I never lied, but I think it's a disconnect between your culture and mine. I worship the Einsteins, study the Steve Jobs, but you ride Tupac's dick like he was a fucking god. Oh my god. And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet. And that's the nigga within you. Music right in your brain and slowly start to convince you that. You, then you let your kids listen and then the cycle continues Blame it all on the menu, blame it on those drinks Blame it on everybody except for your own race Blame it on white privileges, blame it on white kids And just blame it on white citizens, aim it the vice president <laughs> Watch your class clowns, niggas kneeling on the field, that's a flag down How dare you try to make demands for this money You gonna show us some respect, you gonna stand for this country, nigga You gonna stand for this country, nigga I'm not racist I'm just prepared for this type of war. I heard Eminem's rap at the awards. Who's he fighting for? Y'all can take that motherfucker too. He ain't white no more. I can't take you nowhere without people pointing fingers. Pants hanging off your ass. You ain't got no home training. Put your fucking pants up, nigga. Put that suit back on. Take that do-rag off. Take that goat out your mouth. Quit the pitiful stuff. And then maybe police will stop killing you. Fuck shit. What the fuck? I'm not racist. It's like we're living in the same building but splitting the two floors. I'm not racist. But there's two sides of every story. I wish that I knew yours. Ah, oh, man, come on. With all disrespect, I don't really like you white motherfuckers. That's just where I'm at. <laughs> Screaming all lives matter is a protest to my protest. What kind of shit is that? And that's one war you'll never win. The power in the word nigga is a different saying. We shouldn't say it, but we do, and that's just what it is. But that don't mean that you can say it just because you got nigga friends. That word was originated for you to keep us under. And when we use it, we know that's just how we greet each other. And when you use it, we know there's a double meaning under. That's true. And even if I wasn't picking cotton physically, that don't mean I'm not infected by the history. My grandmama was a slave. That shit gets to me, and you ain't got no motherfucking sympathy, you pussy nigga. 
It's hard to elevate when this country's ran by whites Judging me by my skin color and my blackness Trying to find a job and ain't nobody call me back yet Now I gotta sell drugs and put food in my cabinet You crackers ain't slick, this is all a part of your tactics Don't talk about no motherfucking tax Fuck, I'm exhausted I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit I'm tired of this systematic racism bullshit All you do is fall shit, this the shit that I'm false with And you don't know shit about my people, that's what bothers you You don't know about no fried chicken and no barbecue You don't know about the two-step or no loose change You don't know about no two chains or no Kool-Aid You don't know And even though Barack was half as black You hated President Obama, I know that's a fact you can't wait to get him out and put a cracker back And then you gave us Donald Trump and I was paid back for that I never lied, but I noticed a disconnect between your culture and mine Yeah, I praised Tupac like he was a fucking god He was fighting for his life way before he fucking died Nigga, die, nigga And all you care about is money and power and being ugly And that's the cracker within you Hate it all in your brain and slowly start to convince you Then you teach it to your children until the cycle continue Blame it on Puerto Rico, blame it on OJ Blame it on everybody except for your own race Blame it on black niggas and blame it on black citizens Aim at the Black businesses, I ain't saying I'm innocent, but You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot You don't know what it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops And I know if you about to die or not You worry about your life, so you take mine I love you, but I fucking hate you at the same time I wish we could trade shoes, or we could change lives So we can understand each other more, but that'll take time I'm not racist But there's two sides of every story, and now you know mine can't erase the scars with a bandage. I'm hoping maybe we can come to an understanding. Agree to disagree, we can have an understanding. I'm not racist. Whoa, um, <laughs> wow, man, shit, that's, um, that was good, that was good, Jonah Lucas, fucking well done, mate, wow, <laughs> I'm actually, like, speechless, yeah, I get, there's two sides to every story, isn't there, I guess, <laughs> I won't lie, but that white guy, obviously, it's not his voice, I'm, I'm assuming it's Jonah Lucas rapping, right, it's not the white guy saying it, but when he was screaming in his face, like, nigga, I was like, whoa, I was like, my pulse is going, I won't lie to you. Yeah, man, that almost got me a little bit. It's a great video. It speaks volumes to a lot of people. I think, I think it, I think it speaks to everyone. This is a perfect example of how we need to be able to listen to each other so we can understand one another so that, because at the, at the end of the day, ultimately, I can't even talk. At the end of the day, ultimately, we are all human. What, what do you say? What do you even say? Until race disconnected us, religion separated us, politics divided us, and wealth classified us. Wow, that is so... I need to let that digest. Um, that's a great video. Let me give that a big thumbs up. Pow! Yeah, the white guy kind of just saying, I guess, how maybe a lot of people in the white community feel um, with everything going on. Obviously, the black community, that's... And not just the black, I guess. I guess the black guy in this instance he didn't just represent just the black community but maybe a lot of other minority communities communities as well yeah it's really interesting to hear both sides i think today we're very easy to just blare our side out blare what we're our perspective is say what's going on with us and shouting other people down and that doesn't accomplish anything and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that we shouldn't protest and everything like that but i think the reason protests even started especially with Martin Luther King if you used him as an example was to initiate conversation um, with people with opposing views and recognize that okay the system we have isn't perfect this is the problems on our side and this is what can't go on anymore um, what's going on on your side etc and it was to start and ignite a conversation but now in the current climate especially kind of the past 
you know, kind of two, three years. It's just been about shouting down the other side. Who can be the loudest? Who has the more people? And it's not been about conversation. That's why when it's come to, you know, voting, but like Brexit over here and like Donald Trump over there, the country is so divided and no one saw it coming. Everyone was like, how could this happen? Well, that's because we're just, all we care about nowadays is just about shouting people down. It's, but it's to have a conversation, not just to brand, okay, um, Okay, well, you're racist and you're sexist and you're homophobic and, you know, you're whatever. Like, it's like we put on that label and once we put that label on, the conversation ends. Do you know what I mean? Where we're all human. You know, I'm not saying people don't have ill intentions, but, you know, if I refer to... I literally said I wasn't going to do politics on this channel, but I guess I just watched that, so here we are. But if I just said about Brexit here... I mean, 51% of the country voted Brexit out. Now, I've obviously, I'm British, born and raised here. And yeah, I've had some racist experiences towards me, but no way in hell do I think half the country is racist. No way do I think that. But there are a lot of people who would say, ah, oh, you voted Brexit, you're racist. Um, and I think it's just about having a conversation so we can all eventually come together and just recognise, embrace um, the differences that we can all bring to the table but also um, recognize that ultimately we are all the same and we are all connected in some way wow Jonah Joiner I don't know if I'm saying his name right anyway thanks for tuning in for today's video this one is a bit <laughs> I guess a bit more serious than um, I originally anticipated but sometimes these things happen and if you want to check out the full video without my voice again I will put a link in the comment below let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll make sure to respond to it if you do. And as always, keep it slick. Pow.